Is it record? Oh, yes. All uh, right. Well, uh, it's a real pleasure to be uh, teaching you here in this uh, master's program. What we'll have this semester is a course in derivatives. Derivatives is extremely difficult. Uh, probably will be the most difficult course that you'll have in this master's program. But, the most important course for you will be risk management. Risk management is the course that you have to learn well. As you've seen during the global financial crisis, as you've seen well, bankers are very good at losing money. Right. All right, so first, let me introduce uh, myself. Uh, I got some Bulgarian name. I come originally from <coughs> Bulgaria. Uh, it's read as Krasimir, but it's way too hard. So we just go by Chris. Chris is easy for everyone to remember. My last name is Petrov. If you want to send me an email, and probably I'll be sending an email, is my first name underscore <coughs> last name, Krasimir underscore Petrov at hotmail.com. And I guess I've been hired to teach in this program because I got a lot of international experience. I come originally from Bulgaria. <coughs> And I got my bachelor's degree in business administration, uh, marketing and management. But that was only the degree. I mostly studied finance and economics. And I got my first teaching job as the youngest assistant professor at the age of 24. That was 20 years ago. All right, guys, what's going on? Do you need 10 more minutes? I'm trying to talk and everyone's like, okay. So, uh, I've been teaching at many different places. Here is a little bit of my experience. I started early on in 93, 94 as an adjunct lecturer in economics. Kind of like what I'm doing over here, here more like a visiting professor right now. In 93 and 94, I also did, I held two jobs back then. Assistant professor at the University of National and World Economy. That was my home university where I graduated, as I mentioned to you. And 94 to 95, I did my master's degree in uh, European integration at the University of Limerick, Ireland. And while I did my uh, master's degree, I was there a teaching assistant. After that, I did from 95 till 1999. I got my PhD in economics, and I actually specialized in agricultural economics. And within agricultural economics, for a while, I specialized agricultural finance and within agricultural finance the big field is agricultural derivatives which means futures and options so I did that thing which we're going to be doing today long time ago like almost 20 years ago and that's uh, I was also did a lot of teaching assistant then I had for about three <coughs> years a and a half a corporate job. This is what they call real world job. In other words, I haven't been only in the classroom, I've actually been also in a real corporation where we try to do the real work and so on. Then I have plenty of teaching over here. I had for 2004 I was assistant professor at the university uh, of, at the new Bulgarian university. I was teaching their MBA students and I taught their corporate finance. After that, 
I took a full-time position, assistant professor at the American University in Bulgaria, that will be the best university in Southeast Europe. Uh, after that, I went through and around the world. <coughs> First, I went to as an associate professor at Prince Sultan University in Saudi Arabia, where I spent a year. After that, I did two years in Bahrain, again as an associate professor. Then I did, uh, let me see, in Taiwan, it only only one semester, I taught banking and finance over there. After that, I was visiting professor at the University of St. Joseph in Macau. Macau is very, very, very nice place both to work and to live. And last year, before I came, I was a Prince of Songkla University. They call it over there in Phuket, they call it Mo'o, okay? And so I was teaching there all sorts of stuff. Let's see some of the courses I've done. It's a long, long list. Let's see, you can see. I've done over here some introductory economics, some financial economics, uh, again, microeconomics, macro financial economics, macro corporate finance, investment corporate finance. That's what I thought about 20 years ago, okay? Then it moves on to a lot more money and banking, macro, macro, international finance, econometrics, international money and banking, public finance, growth and business cycles, money markets, capital markets, financial markets, advanced international finance, investment analysis, financial institutions, that's for MBA, managerial economics. I did also financial derivatives, but it was a, a smaller, different course uh, about six so years ago. Again, investment, <coughs> special topics in finance, micro investments, portfolio, financial institutions, financial institutions. Again, I've been teaching a lot of financial institutions. In other words, I specialize financial economics, which straddles the field of economics and finance. And within financial economics, I specialize into money, based on money is our currencies, based on currencies are banking, based on banking is credit and credit expansion, and based on top of, them, of that are business cycles, and within business cycles, I specialize in financial crises, okay? Because uh, we are getting a lot of those around the world, and we get them more <coughs> frequent over the last 40 years, and they're getting deeper and harder to go through. Maybe down the road we'll study that Thailand is again due for another financial and economic crisis. You should study or should have studied about the Asian financial crisis in 1997, and there will be a repeat within the next couple of years of a major financial crisis again. Okay, but that's a different topic for a different uh, time. Let's see what else I have over here. Well, you can see some more courses. Macro financial money and banking financial institutions, topics in finance. I did some principles of accounting, fixed income securities. We'll do just a little bit of that. Uh, strategic management, economic development, principles of accounting, principles of management. I did also international business. I did last semester international economics, not in here. So that pretty much gives you a flavor as to why I got hired to teach you guys. I got plenty of financial experience and quite international at that and with mostly Asians in the last, let's say, four or five four years or so. All right. Uh, what we do next is, uh, again, as part of what I do, is 
Uh, as you are all seeing, this little Sony camera has recorded a lot of courses around the world. Uh, for you, the most important course to watch, see, and learn is macroeconomics, which will teach you, as I explained, foundations of money. Based on money, you'll learn commercial banking. Uh, based on commercial banking, you'll learn central banking. And based on central banking, you'll learn business cycles and e financial and economic crisis. These are extremely important for anybody working in the field of finance because you need to understand the business cycle and you need to understand how the <coughs> and financial system works, how crises come, why economic crises come, and so that you are prepared to deal with a crisis. And you deal with a crisis by learning, understanding, and mastering risk management. And risk management, as I mentioned for you in this master's program, is the most important course. Derivatives will be probably one of the hardest over here. So you can see structured finance will do a little bit of this uh, probably in this course. I'll talk a little bit later. You can get some basic managerial economics. This is a very comprehensive course in investments. As you can watch over here, you got a short course here in financial institutions. You got a special course in business cycles. Again, managerial economics. Let's see what else we got over here. MBA, structured finance. Uh, you can go to my, basically to my channel. The channel is K.M. Petrov. So you can just type K.M. Petrov channel. It's going to get you to my channel or K.M. Petrov playlists and based on the playlists you will see you can see investments in investment analysis you can get a special course in technical analysis you can get investments uh, fundamental analysis you can get investments uh, portfolio analysis so you get different types of investment analysis you got a lot of stuff in there so you can go in there about that part too and now we are getting to what we're going to be doing uh, this uh, course. Let's make sure that you all guys got the uh, syllabus. You got the syllabus? Yeah. All right. Well, first of all, we'll begin. We'll be using this little book. Yeah, you might as well zoom in, right? And zoom in nicely in the book in here. OK, is this good enough? Okay, this book is by Chance and Brooks, an introduction to derivatives and risk management. It should be in your syllabus. Can you open on the second page? Maybe it shows up in there. Does it? Does it say textbook somewhere or not? So the textbook is by Chance and Brooks, okay, and will be covering almost everything in the book. Now, it gets a little trickier, and it needs a lot of explanation uh, about the following. Is this, does this pull up or does it pull up? Yeah, let's see. Ah, there's a special electronic. Okay. Wow. All right, that's nice. All right, so I'll step back and discuss uh, the difficulty that we had in designing your current program. First of all, uh, we or I'll be teaching, uh, what is it, fixed income security.
fixed income securities. Within fixed income securities, you will be studying in a fairly uh, intensive way. You will be studying bond derivatives. Bond You should be studying as part of, that's the most specific one, a little broader. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, no more talking, okay? Please. I'm trying to explain to you fairly complicated stuff so you understand what you're doing over here. Here, you also got credit. derivatives. Notice what's going on. We are now teaching a course in derivatives, but a number of derivatives we will not study here in the derivatives course. You will study in fixed income and the most important, most general is interest rate. derivatives. So, these are topics in derivatives that we will not cover in this course here, okay? Because you will do in a different course. Is that fair to Does it make sense? All right. Let's see what else I got in here for you. Okay. And also, as part of a specialized, very specialized material, we will not be covering a lot swaps. Swaps will be also part of fixed income securities, okay, fixed income securities will be swaps, the other topic which we will not be covering here is loan sales, I'll explain in a minute, and security time Securitization. Securitization. Okay. So, securitization results in derivatives. Okay. So, we will not be covering that part. That part is also going to be part of fixed income securities. And finally, let me clarify to make sure one point is very clear. As part of risk management as part of risk management you will be doing extensively interest rate derivatives uh, did you already have a risk management course you already did your teacher instructor show you that this is the book you're going to use okay well there it is camera man all right this is a very good book. Over the last 10 years, I've been looking and searching to find a book which is decent to teach risk management. And of 10 years of research, I have found this to be by far the best. You can zoom out. It's called Financial Institutions <coughs> Management, okay? And it is by Saunders and Cornett. Saunders and Cornett have two books. It's very important for you to get the right one, which is called a risk management approach. Okay, risk management approach. And it's got three parts in there. Okay, I'll do the introduction for the other uh, instructor in here. It's got three parts. The first part is called introduction and is 
covering financial institutions. And you've already studied financial institutions, okay? The second part is called measuring risk, which you will focus in your first part, measuring risk. And very soon, you'll be starting there interest rate risk. Very soon. Did you start already interest rate risk in a risk management course? Hmm? Yes, only introduction. Well, next time, soon, you should be doing interest rate uh, risk, okay? And if, if you're doing interest rate risk, you will be doing some interest rate derivatives, okay? And then you got a whole bunch of other risks, market risk, credit risk, credit risk. And then when I come back to teach you, I'll be teaching you in the second half, off balance sheet risk, foreign exchange risk, technology risk, operational risk, liquidity risk, liability management, capital, capital risk, and capital uh, adequacy. We call this uh, solvency risk. And then at the very, very end, we'll do some other risk management tools like swaps, loan sales, and securitizations and swaps is a topic in derivatives which will not cover in this course okay here we'll cover it over there and securitization is part of derivatives and now the big question that we need to clarify close to the end of the semester if you take a look at your syllabus Please take a look at the very last week, the very last meeting. There should be a little topic called cr credit, let's see, credit derivatives, if we have time. Credit derivatives, if we have time, we'll cover credit derivatives and credit default swaps, because these were the instruments that led to the credit bubble and to the global financial crisis of 2008, okay? So we'll see where you'll study credit derivatives because they belong, credit derivatives uh, and credit default swaps, they belong to fixed income securities, okay? We'll want to make sure that you learn these. If there is no time to study them there, we'll try to find time to study them here, okay? Credit derivatives. It's a very, very, very important topic, okay, for you to learn and understand. And now coming to our current course, it's fairly straightforward. Chapter one is introduction, which I'll do soon. So, chapter one is introduction, okay? Then, chapter two to seven will be options. Options. So, about half the time we'll be studying in this course the introduction and the options. It will probably, will have the midterm based on this particular material over here, which is the first seven chapters, probably. That's the game plan. And then, eight to, eight to 11 will be futures, forwards, and <coughs> futures. Next. Twelve is swaps and we will not cover here, okay? We will repeat, not cover swaps here, we'll cover swaps in fixed income securities, okay? So that's fairly clear. Next, 
13. 13 is interest rate derivatives. Okay, interest rate derivatives. Again, we will not be covering these interest rates derivatives because you should be covering them extensively in risk management and you should be covering them in fixed income. Okay? All right, is it fairly clear? So, we're not going to cover 12, we're not going to cover 13, and we'll go through 14 through 16. 14 through 16. 14 through 16, we will cover. Now, if we don't have any more time, we will not cover chapter 16. Chapter 16 is managing risk. We'll just not cover it because you're taking a full course in risk management. Okay? So, I'm clarifying what we will not cover. Not cover swaps, not cover interest rate derivatives, and maybe not cover managing risk because you have a separate course. We will not cover them, not because they are not important, but because you will cover them in the other two courses. They are very important topics, okay? You just cover them in two. So, we will try to cover the whole textbook without these particular topics, and we do as much as we, or as much as you can, right? We do our best. And finally, I understand from uh, the program, uh, like manager, director, that uh, you guys need to have something like a little project, something like an assignment. We're going to write a little bit of a research paper and make a little presentation at the very end. And originally, I put in there something like a topic. So I'm going to work two people, three or four people, at most four. Okay? Two, three, four people. You work together. And I gave you there one topic, but uh, we've decided, and I've decided to extend it to two different topics. The one topic is the role of derivatives in the global financial crisis. In other words, how derivatives contributed to making the global financial crisis worse. That's the one topic. It's the harder one. And the other topic, which uh, you can choose, is present a derivative product traded in Thailand on an organized exchange in Thailand. I understand, I spoke with the other teachers, that you have interest rate or bond derivatives in here on uh, Thai government bonds. Uh, I understand that you have a large number of commodity derivatives traded over here. Of course, agricultural, like rice, but also gold and a few others, rubber, okay? So, you can choose to present about one of these contracts, one of these financial derivative instruments, and make a 15-minute presentation and whatever, eight, 10 pages, so that you can actually become familiar with the Thai financial system and the derivative products traded in Thailand, all right? And that will be a good opportunity. And during the presentation, you'll be presenting, I don't know, rubber, you're going to be presenting rice, you're going to be presenting on gold, you're going to be presenting by, with the presentation, you'll actually learn more about your own system, the way it works, and the way it's been designed over here, okay? So, you will have a choice. You can choose if you like the one topic, if you'll choose if you like the other topic. For the financial derivatives, you need your topic to be first approved. So you're going to tell me what your topic is because we don't want 
six people, you know, three teams. Well, what well, we're doing rice, and we're doing rice, and we're doing rice too, right? Yeah, we can't have that, right? So one team will do rice, okay? Another team will choose, will have to choose something else, okay? So, I mean, you can choose up to you as long as we can't have two different groups having the same derivative, okay? So each one will get a different derivative with a short, whatever, 10, 15 minute presentation the way you do it, okay? I mean, I know how it's typically done in MBAs. I've been teaching a lot of MBAs, but you know, that's, uh, we leave that for the last meeting. That's on the project. And finally, we come to the last thing, which is grades and grading. So, we're going to have a midterm and we're going to have a final. That's clear. And we're going to have two quizzes. One quiz before the midterm, somewhere around, it's going to be like week four, okay? And midterm is in the middle. And then a few weeks later, you're going to have another. So, they are in that particular order. First, there's going to be a quiz, somewhere in the middle of the first half, then a midterm. Then it's going to be a, a quiz and a final, okay? And then on the very last day, you're going to get the presentations. And the weights are, what are the weights for each? How much is the first quiz? Weights. Huh? The weight, weights. Weight. Like, I'm um, 60 kilograms <laughs> weight. What's the weight in percentages? Uh, of, of the total grade. What's the weight in percentages? Yeah. Huh? Weight What's the percentage? Come on, guys. Does it say? Uh, what does it say? Can you read? Please, please, read. <laughs> what does it say? 10% is quiz number one. How much is the midterm? Midterm is 20%. 20. 20%. Mm -hmm. How much is quiz number two? 10%. 10 you all got it? Okay, and they all add up to 100. So, is the grading fairly clear? All right, is good enough? Is it good enough for introduction? All right, you wanna get started with Real derivatives or not? All right, camera, pause, two minutes. All right, three or five minute break. <laughs>